Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of our full feature Instagram bot tutorial. Today we're going to be working on a tag options method, which given a tag, the program can either like, comment, or follow the poster, or it could do all of them at the same time. Alright, so since we're going to be commenting on posts, we're going to need a list of comments. So to get started, let's just make a self.comment list, make that empty. And like we always do, we're going to also create the file and just copy paste a piece of that code there, change this to comments. And we're also going to read the file. So again, let's just copy paste a piece of this code and change this to comments. Oops, comments and change this to comment list. Perfect. Before we continue, we can just run the program here. So it creates that comments file. And then we can just close this. Uh, if we go into it, on every line, we can just write a different comment. Uh, for example, for mine, it's Farzan the photography. So we're probably going to be focusing on photography posts. So we can do like great shot, right? Or wow, amazing photo. All right, let's get started on a method. Uh, so first things first, we're going to need a tag from the user as an input. So let's just say tag, the tab character. And we're also going to need how many posts uh, we're going to be going through. Let's take that as an integer input and how many posts to go through. All right, so now we can let the user decide what they want to do. If they want to like the post, comment on the post, or follow the user. Uh, to do this, we can create some uh, initial variables, setting them all to false. And then based on the user's input to some questions, we can uh, update those to true and move on from there. So for example, we could say like tag, comment on tag and follow tag, set all of those to false initially. And then we're going to take an input from them, right? So input, uh, like the post, and we're going to say yes or no, tab character, and whatever they give us, we want the lower, uh, lower capitalized version of it, uh, lowercase, lowercase, yes, lowercase version of it. So we're just going to do dot lower. And we want to know if y is in that input. Okay, if it is, we're going to update like tag to true. Okay, we're going to do that with all of them. Uh, we could say again, if y is in input, uh, comment on the post, yes or no, and take the lower of that again. We're going to say comment tag equals to true. And same thing for following. Just copy paste it this time. Follow the poster, yes or no, and change follow tag to true. All right, now we can go to the tag. And to do that, you can see in the URL, it's the base URL, explore tags, and the actual tag. Uh, so we can use our self.driver.get. Uh, we could give it a parameter, uh, slash explore slash tags slash another parameter. And if we format this, uh, our first thing is going to be the base URL that we have saved. And the second thing is going to be the tag that the user gives us, just like that. Then we can just wait a second or two using self.wait. And then we're going to want to click on the first post. So if we go here, it's to go to any tag, and I right click the first post, inspect it. Uh, we want to find the parent div of this uh, first post. So you can just keep closing, and then that one, that one highlights all of them. Uh, so it's got to be this one. So we can copy the X path of that and then self dot driver dot uh, find element by X path and paste that in there. And then we could just dot click it. All right. So we come to the tag, we click on the first post here. We can like comment and follow the user with this button. And then when we want to move on to the next one, we just click this little arrow here and go to the next post. Right. So to do all of this, we're going to need a for loop. So for I in range and our range is going to be the amount that the user selected. We can initially wait like 10 to 12 seconds here. And then we're going to want to say the name of the person so we can add it to our other uh, files. So let's say self driver find element by X path. And we're going to take just the text of whatever we find. Uh, so to do that, we can just inspect 
just get their name and copy the XPath of that. And we can just paste that in there. Perfect. Before we move on, I made a mistake here. We actually have to do false, false, false to set them all to false. Now we can move on to liking the post and we're gonna only do that if the like tag is true. And we're gonna go inside here. We're gonna wait a second or two like we always do. Uh, we're gonna need to find the like button and we're gonna just use the XPath again. So self.driver.findElement by XPath. And we're just gonna save it. We're not gonna click it. Uh, so let's come here. Uh, let's close this. Inspect element again. Uh, let's look for the like button. It's right here. Um, let's click the button, not the SVG, the actual button. And copy the XPath. Then we can just paste that in there. Nice. Now, if this particular post was previously liked, we don't wanna click it again and unlike it by accident. So if we inspect here, uh, under the SVG, the ARIA label, it says like. So if it, sa if it says like, we want to click it, but then after you've clicked it, it's gonna change to unlike, and we don't wanna click it then, right? So to do that, we're gonna take the <clears throat> like text, under the like button, we're gonna find element by XPath, and inside here, we're just gonna look for anything under this button uh, that is an SVG. So name equals SVG. And from that, we're gonna take an attribute, get attribute, and the attribute is aria label. All right, so if the like text is equal to like, we're gonna want to click the like button, just like that. And then we can also print some text telling us that we've liked it. So we could put a parameter in there. Here we could say a liked post by, and another parameter, I have to format that. Uh, the first one's gonna be our i plus one because it starts at zero. And the second one's gonna be the user's name that we got, uh, where did we get it? We got it up here. All right, now we can move on to commenting on the post and we're only gonna do that if the comment tag is true. And of course, we're gonna wait a second or two. And uh, to do this, let's create a temp variable. And of course, we're gonna do self.driver.findElementById. And we need to find the actual comment form. So if we go here, uh, select the comment. Uh -oh, we got unlucky on this one. Let's just go on to the next one. Uh, if we select the actual comment, you can see um, that there's a form here. That's what, we, that's what we want to click. We don't want to click anything else. So I think this form right here, if we comment the X path for that, put it in here. Then inside of that form that we just found, we can find element by X path again. And this time we're gonna look for any element with a particular name. And this name is gonna be Away for it, it's gonna be text area. Somewhere we can actually type in and we're gonna click whatever we find. And then afterwards, uh, that same thing. So let me just copy, copy paste it. Inside of that text area, we're gonna send keys. And what are we gonna send it? We're gonna send it a random uh, comment from our list, right? So we're gonna do random dot choice and we're gonna select a random choice from self.comment list. Easy as that. Then we can self.wait a second or two, of course. And then we're gonna need to find this button, this little post button. Uh, it only comes up when you start typing. And it's actually under the same form. So like we did before, we can say this. And instead of this, we can just say any button, because there's that's the only button under the form, and we can just click that. Messed up here with the brackets, actually. Let's get rid of that one and put one over here. Yep, and then we can just copy paste this print line down here and say commented on post, and then it's gonna be the same thing. Now we could take a look at uh, following the user or the poster, 
And we're only going to do that, of course, if the follow tag is true. And we're going to wait a second or two before we do. Uh, let's create a temp variable which houses the uh, button, the follow button. So self.driver.findElement by xpath. Let's use single quotes in here. Realize that's uh, much more convenient than double quotes. Uh, let's right click, inspect, and let's get this follow button in the corner here. And we're going to copy, copy the xpath. Perfect. Now again, similar to the like button, we don't want to click the follow button if we're already following them or else uh, it's going to get a pop up and we don't want that. Uh, so we're, we want to check the text on the button. So if the uh, temp.text is follow and also we can't forget if the name is not in self.donotfollow list, then we want to click the follow button. Okay, oops. Why did I go away? And then we're also going to want to add the user to the do not follow, do not follow list. And let's also add them to the previously followed list. Perfect. We can also, like before, print something to let us know that we followed someone. So followed, don't need this post thingy. And we can leave the rest the same. All right, so we click on this first post, comment, follow, like, and then click on this arrow to go to the next post. Do the same thing there and keep clicking this button uh, for whatever amount of posts we want to go through. But the thing is, uh, let's say we inspect elements, we grab the xpath of this button, uh, copy, copy xpath, let's paste that here. And then let's go to the next post and get the xpath of this button, right? Copy, copy xpath. Uh, you're going to see that there's, they're different, right? This one has just the A and then this is A2. Uh, that's because the first post doesn't have this left arrow, the second post does. Uh, so we can easily fix that if we say if I is zero. So if this is the first post we're going through, we're going to self.driver find element by xpath. And we're going to give it this first uh, xpath. Okay. And then we can just click that. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to do the same thing, but with the other xpath. Copy this and put it into here instead. Just like that. And of course, we go to our choose UI and then we can add a fourth option. Uh, let's add, uh, let's just copy paste this actually, like that. Let's add a fourth option and call it uh, tag options. And then we can come down here. Sorry, we can come down here, uh, add another one. If it's four, we're going to say tag options. Perfect. And also, uh, in this LF cho uh, choices quit, um, we can add self.driver.close. That makes it a little better. Before we pop out the champagne, uh, I realized there's two buttons here. Uh, the first one's for the emojis and the second one's to actually post. Uh, the difference between these X paths is the one for the emoji is a one, the one for posting is a two. So let's just get rid of the emoji one and let's cut the post one, go up to common tag. And instead of looking under temp, we can just look under self.driver, the find element by X path. And inside here, we can just put the xpath for the post button. Easy fix. And one more thing under the like tag, uh, let's just scroll over and make sure area label is spelled correctly. All right. Now let's give it a test, shall we? We have some comments in here. Uh, so let's just run the program, see how it does. Uh, let's select tag options. The tag, uh, let's just say cars, you know, why not? How many posts? Let's do, let's do three. Like the post, yes. Comment on the post, yes. And follow the poster, yes. Let's just test everything out in one swoop. Okay, it goes to the tag, clicks the first post. After 10 to 12 seconds, that's a nice car. It should like, comment, and follow. Let's see if it does it. All right, it liked it, commented, and followed. Incredible. Now it's going to go to the next post. Perfect. That's a nice car too. 
<laughs> so scroll down, see if we can see our comment somewhere. All right, it liked it. It posted the comment and it followed. Perfect, and the last post, it's gonna like, comment, and follow. Perfect, and that's it. It's gonna go to the next post, but it's not gonna do anything in here. Uh, so we can just minimize, and then it says uh, choose again, and then we can just quit by pressing Q, and it closes the Chrome tab as well. Perfect. And there we have it. That was the last piece, that tag options method. Now we can follow, unfollow, go to photos, like them, comment. We can do anything, right? Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope this tutorial didn't go by too fast. It was only three episodes. Uh, I think this is the end. Unless you guys have uh, any suggestions, any features you would like to see, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.